Hey guys, welcome back. Today, for the first time ever, we are playing as Emil himself. So if you bought the Gears of War 5 Ultimate Edition, then you got playable versions of Emil and Cat with the game. Now, before anybody says this, no, this isn't canon. No, Halo and Gears of War do not share universes. This is just merely a cool non-canon thing. So Emil and Cat are both voiced by their original voice actors. So the Jamie Hector is reprising his role as Emil, which is pretty cool. So today I thought that I would show off a meal by playing through one of the new modes in Gears 5 called Escape, which is basically a destiny raid. Um, you get into a swarm hive, you plant a bomb, and then you escape. Pretty simple. But the cool thing is that each character sort of has their own kind of custom cutscenes in this mode, um, and I've never played it before, so everything that we see in this mode will be my first time seeing it. So I figured that today I do a sort of on and off live com type thing, so I'll talk for a fair amount of the video, but not too much. So don't worry, you'll still be able to hear Emil in all of his raw, untamed badassery. Also, very discreetly hidden throughout this video are two codes for Game Pass Ultimate, which, when found and redeemed, will grant you free access for six months to Gears 5 Ultimate Edition, complete with a meal and cat. This isn't a sponsored video or anything, I just happen to have two spare codes laying around, and, you know, I figured that some of you guys might want to maybe play as a, a meal or cat at some point, so I thought that I'd share the love. One last thing before we start, the Gears 5 PC port isn't optimized too well right now. Um, I'll try and edit out any lag or stuttering, but some of it might not be editable, so just bear that in mind. Right, let's get on with the show. Okay, here we go. Oh, dude, Emil looks so good. What the? Dude, look how sick Emil looks in this engine. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> what? Okay, hello. Is Emil just... Offering himself up to a snatcher? Yep, okay. I guess Emil is offering himself up to a snatcher. That is one hell of a way to start this off. Okay, here we go. <laughs> what an entrance. Dude. Emil covered in blood. What a combo. Name me a more iconic duo. Oh, there's the bomb. There's the uh, biohazard bomb. Whatever it is. Okay, it's armed. Here we go, baby. Emil covered in blood. Name me a more iconic duo. And look at this area, dude. See, I can't get over how good Emil looks, honestly. I genuinely can't. Um, so, okay, on to the objective. We have very little ammo. Okay, right. People are actually being relatively stealthy, which is good. We need to be as stealthy as possible because we don't have much ammo. Uh, I think the point is quite early on to melee a lot. Here we go. Try and assassinate as much as possible and also stick to melees. Uh, try and pick up as much ammo as possible to use against the bigger enemies. But until then, we can make the most of Emil's uh, melee damage increase. Because he has a perk or something um, that increases the amount of melee damage that he does. Which I think is a pretty fitting perk. Let's go for another assassination. There we go. So I'm going to try and get as many executions as possible. Because, I mean, it's a meal. Who doesn't want to see a meal like, burst heads and... Fucking slash throats and stuff. I mean, it's Emil. That is his character. That is what Emil does. Dude, playing this really, 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 really makes me want 343 to make some sort of like extremely gritty, violent, gory Halo spin off with like Emil as a main character or something. Tell me that wouldn't. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Tell me something like that in the actual Halo, Halo universe wouldn't be sick. Tell me that is something that you wouldn't want to see. Come on. You know you would. Emil is so fit for it as well. Like, just look at him, dude. I mean, it's Emil, for God's sake. Maybe a more fitting character for a game like that. Okay. So, we've got a safe room up here. Two safe rooms, actually. Both of which, I believe, are meant to contain ammo and grenades and supplies and stuff. Um, so we can actually start using weapons and not just Emil's knife, because, you know, as much as Emil loves his blades, gotta use a gun every now and then. Doesn't hurt. So we've got a flashbang. Now we're gonna have some fun. Hell yeah. So, that's it, I think. A little bit of ammo and a grenade. Okay, this is an incredibly open room. So I think we're gonna have to stick to the outskirts to use melee. Right 
to go for the assassination. Nice. I respect it. Come here. Come here. <laughs> that will never get old. That will never get tiring. Okay, try and kill this Scion before he freezes us. Let's make some noise. Dude, nothing, and I mean nothing, can stop a meal in his Kukri. Even though this isn't actually his Kukri. Come here. Let me assassinate you. Once again, pop the old head. Dude, oh my god, I will never get older of that. I will never get tired of that. Okay. Let's keep moving. It's crazy how well Emil actually fits in the Gears aesthetic. Like, his character model and character and, like, design and everything just translates so well. Oh, got some jubies chasing you, my friend. Get in there. He translates so well. Look at that for a player model. And, of course, all the noble team weapon skins. Gotta have them on. Gotta represent the entire gang. Dude, what? Containment? Decontamination? Oh, that's cool. Okay. So I'm guessing these kind of work like safe rooms in Left 4 Dead, I'm assuming. Yes. Yes, they do. This is literally a safe room. Let's take some ammo. Hopefully the lights are going to come on. There we go. Oh, Raven inbound. Nice. So we got some evac on the way. See you at extraction. See you at extraction. Yeah. Oh. Oh, chamber's been breached by the gas. Run. We gotta move. Okay, so it's almost charged up. I'll be able to show you Emil's ability in a second. It's very Halo. It's uh, it's exactly what it, what you'd expect from a Halo character. Um, my God, that's a lot of jubies. That is a lot of jubies. And a sire. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, no, no. Uh oh, he's gonna pull a meal apart. Save me, please. <laughs> there we go. So, <laughs> if one of them sort of like takes you away, they they literally pull your head off, and that's not what we want to see. And after all, a meal was never decapitated. A meal was uh, hit with the old backstab. Okay, here we go, boys. More combat on the way. Ah, oh, he's gonna go for the assassination. Okay, give him the old kick up the backside. Uh oh, uh oh. Warden, and not the Warden Eternal. Something called the Warden that's actually fun to fight. Tell you what, if we can kill him, I'm gonna take his hammers. Or his maces, whatever they're called. Oh god. Uh oh, this isn't good. This is way too close for comfort. Way, way, way too close for comfort. And now I'm flashbanging, lovely. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Dude. <laughs> I feel like an acrobat right now. He knew Emil had such agile limbs. Oh god. I guess he's a spot on three after all. That's not good. Dude, this warden. This is like the warden eternal, but actually fun. And that takes actual skill. And isn't just a bullet sponge. Oh my god. Oh, there's swarm there now as well. Okay, there we go. There's the drop shield. And then, we're gonna pop out and waste some drones. Oh, yeah! Did we kill the warden? Yes, we did. <laughs> pop his head. 
Nice. Dude, I would love to see something like this in Halo. It's never going to happen, but... I would love to see gore of this level in Halo. Oh, no. He got the... He got the mace. Damn it. I'll tell you what. I'll include some mace gameplay at the end. After I finish this section, I'll uh, show off some mace gameplay. As a meal, of course. Okay, right. We need to get moving. That gas, as you can see in the bottom right on the minimap, that gas is getting... Uh, Worryingly close. And as far as I'm aware, Emil's Mjolnir doesn't protect against it. Okay, right. It's fighting time, boys. Oh, okay. Not just yet. Oh, there's the exit. There's the exit. We just gotta fight to the exit and then we're free. Oh my god. Mbot. Oh no. Focus that Scion. Okay, meal and heavy weaponry. What a combo. What a combo. <laughs> right, okay. Let's get some assassinations. We need some assassinations. Whack him on the head again. <laughs> that will never get old. That will never... Hello. A victim. Let's snap the old neck. There we go. That, this is what happens when you mess with Noble. Dude, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Extraction time. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, we got to hold off. All right. Okay. We got to hold off. Interesting. Right. Okay. I don't think they're going to get in here. They're not sending many troops. They're not... <laughs> Obviously, we're not that important. Maybe this is before Emil uh, became known for being the absolute massacre. Mass massacreist that he is. Masochist. Massacreist. Both those words. Both those words. <laughs> and I believe that is it. That is it, I think. Yeah, there we go. There's our evac. Dude, seeing a meal on it looks look how good he looks. Tell me he doesn't fit in this art style and this this general aesthetic. He fits gears so well. I'd even argue that he fits gears as well as he fits Halo. That was fun though. Um so let me quickly roll some of that uh that mace gameplay. So, that's a meal in Gears 5. That's what it looks like, that's what he sounds like, that's what he moves like, and that is what he executes like. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. I have a feeling that the thoughts are going to be quite positive. I know that my initial reaction was uh, quite something. Seeing a meal just in a game that's this gory and violent, something that fits his character so well is like, it's honestly, it's quite refreshing in a way because we're used to seeing Emil just like, you know, the odd assassination, the odd shotgun kill. But seeing him like bursting heads and snapping necks and like doing all that cool stuff is, is, is so good to see. It's, it's a whole new look into his character. And it's honestly the level of violence that I imagine he would elicit in his earlier career before he joined Noble when he was sort of doing loads of only black up missions. It's what I imagine he was doing back then. So... If you guys enjoyed, then of course, don't forget to share your support down below with the likes and the comments and all that good stuff. Um, and I'll have another proper video up probably Friday talking about all the Reach and MCC, PC, and also Xbox news. So uh, look out for that bad boy. So thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next one.
can't be good enough.